In this video, we are going to see three interesting things about generator. Before going into this topic, we will see shortly about generator working. Whenever a current magnetic field cuts a conductor, it will induce an EMF according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. I am going to show you all in very simple. Step 1. When a south pole field cuts a conductor, the positive wave is produced proportional to the magnetic field. Similarly, step 2. When a north pole field cuts a conductor, the negative wave is produced proportional to the magnetic field. When we combine these two steps, when the both magnetic field cut the conductor with equal interval, then the sinusoidal wave can be produced. Hence the law says, whenever a conductor cuts a varying magnetic field, it will induce an EMF. Now we can go into the topic. Number one interesting thing. When we run a generator in home or a power plant, if any fault occurs, the fault current will not burn the winding of the generator. Why it is not burning? We can see little bit briefly. When a coil produces EMF in a generator, while current flow on a coil, the current flow will make the coil magnetic field. This magnetic field will try to attract the excitation coil magnetic field. So the speed reduces normally. If the fault current assumes outside of the generator, the current magnitude increase. The increase in current will make high magnitude field in a core. This core will produce the back EMF, which directly oppose the main EMF. This will maintain the winding current, which will not allow to increase the high current. So the coil will be protected, but it will affect the speed. If it runs for a long time, the rotor shaft may bend. Second interesting thing, we can use uh, some generator as a transformer. In a generator, normally we give DC supply for excitation winding. But in, in this case, if we give AC supply in excitation winding and the rotor not to rotate, the generator output will produce EMF by mutual induction like transformer. Third interesting thing. Generator range manufacturer can design a lesser voltage to 33 kV and the standard frequency is 50 Hz to 60 Hz. Why does the power station range from level kV to 33 kV? Let us consider if the generator capacity 100 megawatt, if you use level kV generator, the current in the stator will be very very high than the 33 kV generator. And also if we reduce the current level, then the copper loss will also reduce but the insulation for the voltage level will be increased so the generator size will be increased twice the, the size of the level kV generator so the turbine size also increase relatively due to this the cost is very very high also if we want above 33 kV generator then the insulation will be a biggest problem and the size also will be a very big there will be a technical difficulty in designing for alternator for particular voltage and current rating. Hence there is need to be balance between voltage and current uh, all going for less kV generator. If you want to ask any technical question feel free to ask. Thank you for watching this video.